For more than two months, residents in Tennessee nursing homes have not been able to accept any outside visitors. And while that won't be changing anytime soon, News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how a local musician is using technology to bring concerts to the palm of their hand, proving kindness isn't canceled. Sweet sounds flow out of Diana Ladio's home, a place you usually won't find her. A tour probably two weeks out of the month, most of the year. Her band has been sidelined from touring because of COVID-19. But not even a pandemic can silence her strings. Then a few weeks back, she got an unusual request. Could she make a recording of playing the fiddle for the Alzheimer's Association? She got in touch with me via Instagram and I burst into tears and went, absolutely, I would love to be involved. Anything to feel useful and purposeful during this time. She felt such a stirring in her soul, she knew that had to be the first measure of something more. Then we started thinking, well, we know so many musicians, and if I had this reaction, there's probably a good chance that others will be really excited to be involved in something like this, too. So with the help of her roommate, Stephanie, they launched Music By My Side, a website featuring short performances from musicians around the globe. When Diana started this project, she wasn't sure what impact it would have, so she sent the videos to a few different facilities, and it really took off from there. Based on confirmations we've got, we know that it's at least 1,200 or so. Thousands of nursing homes, even more residents that haven't had a visitor in more than two months. That is when you need people the most, and that's when you really call on your support system and your loved ones to be there. But also like the nurses, giving them something to do and them something to feel good about. Um, sharing with the people that they're with. Dozens of artists are now gracing their digital stage, but one contribution seems to universally amaze. I knew that she was a professional because she didn't, she didn't figure out the key, she didn't have to play anything, she just sat and listened for a few seconds and hit the keys in the, the most perfect way. Edie is a retired concert piano player that now calls Canterfield of Franklin home at a time when we all need to share a little grace. How sweet is this sound? That's when we knew we were really on to something. In Nashville, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Music City. Wow, that is great. Diana and Stephanie hope to keep this going after the pandemic. If you'd like to share these performances, we have a link to their website on ours at newschannel5.com.